Hi guys, so yeah, uh, obviously happy to be to be in this IG life again. I guess you know it's always a good sign if, uh, if you're live here. Um, so yeah, no, um, definitely it was it was a good race. I think we managed to yeah maximize what we have. Uh, I think we had a very good pace on the um, on the medium tyres so or the prime set. Um, so very very happy about that. I think that was where we mainly took uh, or got the lap time out and also were able to to kind of keep the tyres alive for obviously the whole part of the race. Uh, with that said, I think the the move on Yuki was uh, obviously. I wouldn't say easy, but it was because he, he went on the marbles before, so uh, his tyres kind of were still trying to recover, uh, whilst I was uh, obviously having my clean tyres, and, and they were just at their peak, basically, of driving, um, and of the temperature window. So I was, I was yeah, quite confident. Uh, obviously, once I managed to get in, in front, the clean air does help a lot, and, and just, yeah, gives you so much more advantage uh, than, than if, you, if you're trying to stay close behind, so uh, definitely... Definitely, that helped a lot. Um, so, and overall, I'm, I'm very happy about the, about the result. Um, so, yeah, I will now open this to questions and uh, try and answer them. Uh, so, yeah, we got the first one, which is uh, which win for you this season that you like the best? Um, well, I think that obviously this win is uh, has been a tough one too. Um, I think we, we managed to you know, obviously you know, get everything together and be able to fight with the guys and, and then obviously with the move because we had the, the, the speed advantage that we, that we you know kind of fought out in, in for practice and, and qualifying. So um, yeah, very happy about this one, but uh, I, I think in general the first win is always very special. Um, so. Okay, how difficult was the first stint at the end? Um, it was actually quite difficult. Uh, it was uh, obviously mainly thermal grading here, uh, but in general, sorry about the noise and the light. <laughs> ah, it's fine. So we have some technical issues here, but it's fine. <laughs> um, no, I think that in general, um, we, we maximized what we had in, um, in the option run. Uh, probably we were not the fastest, uh, on the track, but I think that we really made up uh, made up for it on the prime set. Um, what was the most difficult moment of the race today? Um, probably, the, I would say the you know um, the option run. Uh, I struggled a bit uh, to understand how much I can push with the tire, uh, how much life do I still have left, how many laps can I do. Um, so I think it was the right call, the right time uh, to pit and. Uh, and be able to kind of change the tyres to go on onto the medium set that would obviously last for a bit longer. Uh, but I'm very like, positively surprised about how long the, op the option run, so the super soft, um, was lasting, which was uh, totally something that I I didn't expect, and uh, I'm quite uh, happily surprised about it. Um, So, uh, I, am I expecting another win tomorrow? Um, I mean, it's obviously very hard here uh, to overtake. So, uh, you know, I'll just take things how they come. Uh, obviously, we start P8 tomorrow, so uh, we'll, we'll just try to aim for a good start and then, and then try and, you know, kind of stay out of trouble in turn two. And after that, uh, just kind of see where we are at and, uh, and then try to make the moves if we can. And if not, we have to manage the position we are at at the time. Um, so favorite thing to do when I have time off, uh, to be honest I do enjoy a lot um, just going on the bike uh, or going to the gym, I mean that's I think what I, what I, I consider as fun, so uh, I think you know that's a, it's a big plus a lot of people, you know, say it's, it's hard and obviously it's difficult yes at times but I do enjoy you know you know setting a goal and saying okay I want to achieve that and, uh, and obviously you know when you do you feel so well and you feel so good uh, after a long day so uh, I think yeah the gym and, and, and training wise I, I enjoy a lot and then obviously spending uh, time with my dog is uh, also something which I, I do enjoy a lot yeah. you know, I've, I've uh, luckily 
um, some time with her now. Obviously, uh, after this race, I'll be on for, for a few more uh, weeks, so uh, I'll get to spend some more time with her. And try to see for some new ones. Okay. So, uh, do I create a special playlist for every race? I do have a playlist that I like to, to listen to. Um, it is probably not the common one and not the, I would say the most usual one uh, that most people would say they, they listen to before a race. Um, but for me, I like to be, uh, you know, kind of in, in a calm mindset. So, you know, I would listen to, to very calming music uh, before I go into the car uh, because that just kind of gives me the opportunity to relax and also think about what, what are the strategies, what are the, the things that I have to do to obviously perform well uh, in, in, in the race or in the, in the qualifying or free practice. Um, how is the Ferrari 2004? Obviously it has been a hell of a car to drive. It's such an amazing car, it's super light, has uh, quite a lot of power too, and uh, it is just so like pointy around the corner, so you can really just you know, go on power and feel how light the car is, and that is something which is just extremely fun because nowadays, obviously, with all the safety agreements and, and stuff, the, the cars mostly get heavier and won't get any lighter. So, you know, to come back to a car which is obviously under 600 kilos or around 600 kilos, it's it's quite, um, yeah, quite impressive. Um, Okay, so how I how am I so consistent uh, scoring more podiums in three races, three working? Okay, so how am I so consistent this year? Uh, I think yeah, we managed uh, obviously to to get everything together. Uh, we managed to to really be consistently quick on every track, and I think a lot of that is in the preparation that we do with Prema. So um, we do obviously a few days in the, in the workshop, but also over over the phone and over messages we always keep up to date and uh, you know we, we always share open thoughts and I think that open communication between the team and myself is, is really the key to for me at least uh, to, to the, the consistency that we have and uh, frankly it just makes a lot of fun and, and gives me a lot of joy to drive this car and, and obviously if, you know the, the speed is there and the results come in uh, on both that it feels even better so uh, yeah it is, it is quite good. Then, so what is my pre-race ritual and uh, how do I get into the zone? Um, I normally really just listen a bit to music. I do have a, uh, a warm-up before uh, driving, uh, which is usually uh, like a sports massage if you want, uh, just to kind of get the muscles in the right window. I usually don't like to do too many physical activities before going into the car because I feel it hypes me up a bit too much. Uh, but that is uh, that is really just like preference and, and personal preference. Um, and I think in general, yeah, it is just trying to be as calm as possible for me, trying to you know feel as good as possible uh, before getting in the car. So then uh, when I am in the car, I can just focus 100% on what is happening there. So what is my favorite song? Uh, to be honest, I do like to listen to music, but uh, I mean, I, I just kind of follow the trend really. It's, uh, it's a bit what, what is in the, in the charts and that's kind of what I listen to. Uh, obviously then again, coming back onto what I do before racing, is, it's usually always, yeah, just um, something calming, something what, I, what feels good for me. And, uh, and that's obviously very personal and, and, and yeah, everybody has to find the right way for themselves. Um, yeah, I. What do I think about the crowd today? Obviously, it's been amazing to see uh, you know, fans on the grandstands again. It's been, it's been a bit sad uh, with the other races. Obviously, um, now getting more and more, it, it, it's nice. Uh, we always have to consider. You know, it's still. A matter of safety that we, that we have to take into consideration and that's really important so uh but nevertheless it's, it's been great to see them on the podium and obviously cheering for me it's been something very special and uh something like a goosebump moment for me really um
okay, uh, dream track. Um, I think, yeah, obviously, Spa is, is one of my favorite tracks, I would say, in general. Um, then after that, we have uh, definitely the Italian tracks like Monta Imola, which I, I do enjoy a lot. Uh, and, and also, one of my, let's say, craziest races ever uh, definitely has been in Macau. I think Macau has been the track which is just has everything in it and it's so tight and I think obviously the, the, the year I went with the old FIF3 um, you know, super light car, quite low power but so high down for so it's been it's been quite incredible to just like fire the, the, the car around those corners and, and you know, those combinations of corners really um, so yeah that, that's one of the craziest tracks I've been to up, up to now uh, do I have any special preparation for Bahrain? Um, at the moment, obviously I do uh, have a big break now after, after Sochi. Um, I'll try and keep busy. I'll try to, to obviously fit uh, maybe around two or three uh, training camps in there, uh, which just kind of you know, keeps me physically uh, up to date. I, I want to try to maybe go more into into uh, you know into the, into the, the way of nutrition and also work out just. To kind of exploit that, what what fits best for me and, uh, and for my body. So um, that's really what I'm trying at the moment to understand even further. Obviously, uh, with the, the races that we had all in a row, it has been difficult to to stay on the on a proper diet. But um, I think in general we, we managed it pretty well. Um, so will I go on a mini vacation during my time off? Uh, no, I said I think I will, I'll stick uh, to my gym. And uh, my training routine, and trying just to, to kind of go more into into depth with uh, nutrition, uh, which is I think uh, quite important. And obviously, it's the main, uh, let's say, factor which uh, which decides how how you look, so um, or how good you feel as well. So that's kind of something which I want to try and, and understand a bit better. I also maybe read some books about it and, uh, and just yeah, get on top of it. Uh, So who's my racing idol? Uh, well, it's it's quite obvious. Uh, it's, it's my dad. So uh, you know, I've always admired him, and, and, or I always admire him, and you know, feel super um, privileged to be able to kind of you know understand and, and see from different perspectives how how he has done things, and uh, try to convert that into my racing and convert it into my feeling and. Uh, and, and yeah, behavior when driving. So uh, that has been obviously something uh, very special for me. Okay, there are a lot of questions. Um, is this a physical track on your body or not? Well, it's. Um, I would say no in general, uh, just because obviously we have quite a few straights which you can just rest. Uh, but in general, I think uh, we have that long right left hander, which is turn three, uh, which gives us even in F2 uh, quite a quite a decent amount of G's, uh, which uh, we do feel. Uh, it's uh, it's interesting, so um, not definitely definitely fun to drive. Um, okay, yeah, I try and find some new questions. Okay. So we've got some more coming in. Um, what do I like best of Sochi? Um, well, I think that the track is obviously uh, quite interesting. We have a few very technical corners, um, such as obviously coming from three into four. Uh, we have uh, eight and nine, uh, and we also have turn twelve, which is a long left hand, the braking. Where you see a lot of cars locking up usually, so uh, that I think that's a very tough, tough, let's say, place on the track, and uh, I do enjoy it a lot because it, you know it just takes a, a few skills to, to understand what you need and how late you can break, and uh, obviously in the race that kind of shifts every time. Um, so yeah, definitely interesting. Okay. Everybody can 
so good. So, um, there's a question. If you could change anything from the, on the car livery, uh, what would it be? Uh, to be honest, I really do like the car livery. I mean, it's, uh, it's always changing a bit, but staying true to its colors. And uh, I think that's something which I do enjoy a lot. And uh, I think it fits well with my helmet, so I'm very happy about that. 